some people would say this revolution is characterized by the fight of robots against human beings and we will win this fight professor klaus schwab was born in 1938 in ravensburg germany where nazi crimes against humanity were committed his father eugene wilhelm schwab was the managing director of escher weiss ravensburg a company that used slave labor to manufacture weapons of war for the third reich while klaus's father was at the helm the Nazi party awarded Escher Weiss Ravensburg the title of National Socialist Model Company. Years later, Klaus Schwab joined the board of directors at Escher Weiss Ravensburg, where he played a key role in the development of South Africa's nuclear weapons program during the darkest years of the racist apartheid regime. Today, Klaus Schwab is the founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum If you'd like to meet the people who are supposed to repair the state of the world or give a piece of your mind to the bankers who helped get us into this mess, we can tell you where to find a lot of them. The World Economic Forum. Founded in 1971, the World Economic Forum is an international private organization which receives billions of tax-free dollars from its members and their global enterprises. Every year, the WEF brings together its members with world leaders, big pharma executives, tech titans, Hollywood celebrities, media personalities, and internet influencers to meet in the secluded mountains of Davos, Switzerland. It is a tiny town folded into the Swiss Alps, a village where you could bump into Bill Clinton, Bill Gates, the head of Google, and the Queen of Jordan, all in one place. A lot of reporters cover the forum, but few get inside. It turns out there are two Davoses, one you see and one you don't. After hours, there are hundreds of private parties where deals are done. People who can't be seen together in public can meet here. Your Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, distinguished heads of state and government, the future is built by us, by a powerful community as you here in this room. Klaus Schwab, the founder of the WEF, is particularly upfront and even proud of his ability to shape and influence world politics. I created the community of global shapers as a means, as a force to shape our common future. And of course, their Global Young Leaders program is a grooming ground so that when they ultimately infiltrate cabinets, we penetrate the cabinets, they will likely tend to govern a certain way. Nobody will be safe if not everybody is vaccinated. The names and the countries he mentioned ended up being some of the most dystopian and authoritative during this pandemic. Names like Ms. Merkel, uh, Vladimir Putin, and so on. Other names? Jacinda Ardern, Sebastian Kurz, Mauricio Macri, Mark Zuckerberg, Jack Ma, Gavin Newsom, Stephane Bancel, Chelsea Clinton, Leonardo DiCaprio, Sanjay Gupta, Dr. Leanna Wen, Alexander and Jonathan Soros, George Soros' sons, and several of the Rothschilds. And, of course, now who could represent such a world better than you, Prime Minister? In 2014, Klaus Schwab called for the Great Reset. We need a Great Reset. Which he positioned as the solution to the world's most urgent issues. The dark reality of Schwab's agenda is detailed in his best-selling book, COVID-19, the Great Reset. His in-game mission is to replace independent governance with a top-down controlled, one-world government and a central bank-controlled digital currency. 